Hi everyone, my name is Monique. I'm Naveen. And today we are playing Horrified. This game is published by Ravensburger Games. Uh, it is a one to five player fully co-op game. Uh, and it's based around us being citizens in a town that's being kind of stalked and overrun by um, these old classic Universal Studios monsters. These are monsters from like the 30s, yeah. uh, old school movies. Classics. And so what we're trying to do is go around and defeat them and avoid getting defeated. <laughs> yeah. So the game comes with six different monsters that you can kind of mix and match to figure out which ones you want to play with, depending on the game mode that you choose. We actually ran an Instagram poll and had people vote on which monsters that we would be playing with today. So some of you may have chosen the monsters that we're playing with tonight. Mm -hmm. And so the winners were... Yeah, we have Dracula. Very Ooh. classic. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't know this one. That was the highest voted one. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know this, this movie. I don't know this, this, this bad guy. So, And then we also have the Wolfman. Cool. Yeah. But before we get started, if you could please turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, we are going to get started. So right here in the center of the table, we have our town. This is the town that we are going to be uh, kind of cruising throughout, trying to pick up items and trying to defeat these monsters. Uh, it's a little bit busy, this, this kind of scene over here, but just to kind of give you the lay of the land, break it down. we have the three different monsters here on the left hand side and on each of these different uh, monster player maps gives us the instructions of how to defeat these monsters because the goal in the end is for us to figure out sort of their weakness depending on what movie they're from mm -hmm. and then defeat them and hopefully we are able to do that before either the time runs out or before we are fully defeated right. as evidenced by this track right here in the skull. So the way that we usually go about playing cooperative games is even though we're two players, we usually play with a third sort of dummy player. Mm -hmm. So that's how we're gonna play today. These are the three players up here on the board, the three characters. Naveen is gonna be playing as the professor, the dummy player is the courier, and I'm gonna be controlling the mayor. So you can kind of imagine the courier as being you. Yeah, so this is your seat right here. Right yeah. here. Yeah, here. Hopefully we don't make moves you wouldn't make. Yeah. So the way the game works is each player is going to be taking turns, kind of going around and taking actions. On a player's turn, there are two different phases. There's a hero phase and I believe it's the monster phase. Monster phase, yes. yes. That's right. And so during the hero phase, which is what comes first, that's where you take all of your actions. If you notice on the character, uh, the character mats here, at the very top, it tells you how many actions you get, depending mm -hmm. on who you are. Some of them will have more and some of them will have less, yeah, They range from three to five. Four mm -hmm. is kind of the standard. Four is the standard, the average, and then five is, is a little... A little special. <laughs> special. Special. And so the different actions you can take are things like moving. You can move to an adjacent space, and these circles are all the different spaces of the board. And you're always moving along the lit path. There's also the lake, or the river, sorry. Yeah, watered path. The lagoon. I think this is the lagoon. It looks like a little canal. Yeah, it's a canal. Going through the city, yeah. Uh, and only the, the creature, oh yeah, this is the lagoon right here. Mm -hmm. Only the creature from the black lagoon can actually move through the water spaces. Everybody else is going to move through the lit paths. Uh, when you move, you move to an adjacent space for one action, and you can also take any number of these villagers with you. Now villagers we'll talk a little bit more about later, but these villagers are gonna be kind of like neutral characters that are gonna be on the board. They're gonna be a little bit uh, useful, but Such also vulnerable, vulnerable yeah. very vulnerable. But when they're on the board, you can move them with you without having to spend additional action points. Right. Any number of them. Another action you can take is you can also guide a villager. So if you have a villager in an adjacent space, you can guide the villager to or from that space. So I can bring them towards, bring them you towards me. I can move them, them away. away. Yeah, exactly. So that's another type of action. If you notice, there are also these different items on the board. The, the items come in three different colors. There's yellow, blue, and red. And then at the very top, there's a number. The number is going to be important for defeating monsters, basically. Yeah, they have uh, a different item strength on them. Almost. Yeah, it's an item strength. At, at, at the bottom is, a, is kind of what the item is. Like this is... A rifle. That doesn't matter. <laughs> That's, That's all flavor. <laughs> yeah. all, all flavor text. Uh, and so one of your actions is picking up any number of these items as long as you're in the same space. Yeah. And you can carry as many items. There's no limit to how many you can have. Correct. So if, if say, I am on this spot for one action, I can just literally pick up both these items. They're going to go in front of me. And that's, that's an action. That's true, yeah. Another thing you can do is, speaking of items, you can share them between players. So let's say, for example, all three of these characters are right here in the shop. Um, if I am the mayor, I can say, okay, I'm going to share items between heroes in that same space. So any of us 
can share items between each other. Mm -hmm. I can give items to another person or even these two people whose turn it isn't <laughs> can right. give each other items. Yeah, in some co-op games, that's not the case. It's always the active player. Yeah, in most co-op games, it's not mm -hmm. the case. But in this one, you can, you can share you can amongst each that, other, which is nice. Because items are fairly important in this game. Yeah. Another thing you can do is you can advance a task. Now, the different monsters are going to have different tasks that you need to complete before defeating them. So that action just allows you to to Adapt progress, task, yeah. to progress mm -hmm. that task, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about the specifics in a bit. Last thing that you can do is whatever action, special action, it says on your hero badge. So I'm the mayor, I don't have a special action, but say, for example, Naveen is a professor, his special action says he can move any hero, and we are all heroes, or a villager one space, and that's just a special action that he can take. The courier, which is you, you're allowed to place your hero in any space with another hero. So you're basically teleporting. You can kind of teleport, yeah. Yeah, you can good. just go, okay, I'm there. You can just go, boom, now you're in my spot. Instead of having That's to move quick. the long way, which is nice. And lastly, the last action you can take is once you've completed whatever task the monsters require of you, you can spend an action as long as you're in the same spot as a monster and you have the required items, you can spend an action to defeat them. Mm -hmm. So those are all the different types of actions you can take. So we're pretty much going to be doing all of those different things we mentioned throughout the entire game. Right. Um, after the hero phase is completed, we go into the monster phase. And so the monster phase has to do with this deck of cards. So the cards look like this. There are three different sections to them. When you draw a monster card, and you only draw one to end your turn, which is good because or else you'd be in deep trouble. <laughs> The very first thing you do is there's a number at the very top here. That tells you how many items you're going to pull from the item bag. So this is a bag of items. They, they're encompassing of all those yellow, blues, and reds. And when you pull from there, what you'll do is you'll take a look at the chit that's, that's there. There'll be a location that you're going to place that item. So in this case, this is the institute. I'd go find the institute and lay it down right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do that three times for this particular card. Different cards will have different values. Exactly. So that's how, that's how we get more items on the board. Right. Um, after that, you're going to resolve the middle part, which is like kind of like the main event. There's, there's either going to be like a grayed out um, villager event, which is or there's, yeah, which is like this one, or there's going to be a monster event. Usually the villager events will have you put a specific villager onto the board. So like this one says, you move the frenzy monster, which we'll talk about next, to the next monster, and then move each villager one space. So this doesn't actually have you put out a villager, but some of them will. It'll say specifically who you put out. And you'll see them come. They, them. they are coming. Mm -hmm. And for the monster events, the monster events will talk about specific monsters. So let's just find an example. And they'll always be uh, in color. And so if it's talking about a monster that you don't have in play, then you just ignore it. But like in this example, this is for the creature in the black lagoon, which so this, is which one that we are playing with. Happen. This says place the creature at the lagoon. So it's just an event. You just do what it says. Right. Just resolve the event. Just resolve the event. When you're done resolving the event, you're going to resolve the thing at the bottom. This is where the monsters attack. Some of them have several symbols. Some of them only have one. You resolve them from left to right, depending on whether or not you have the monster in play. Right. So in this example, the very leftmost monster is the wolfman. So we have the Wolfman in play, so you're going to resolve everything to the right. The number is going to tell you how many movement points that monster is going to move. Mm -hmm. And then the die number is going to tell you how many of these attack dice you're going to roll if the monster ends up being in a space with either a villager or a hero. Right. So in this example, our Wolfman will move one space. So the monsters will always move towards either the closest hero or villager. Mm -hmm. If they are equidistant, specifically if you have a villager out as well, like this, and they are all equidistant, then the monster will always move towards a hero first. Okay. Now, if the monster is equidistant to several heroes, then whoever's active player it was gets to choose. You get to choose. Okay. Now, the monster will only attack if it ends up in the same space as either a villager or a hero. If not, then nothing happens. Then nothing happens, right. Yeah. So you wouldn't even roll the dice in this case. You would just move it forward because there's nobody in that same space. The the dice that you see there, you wouldn't have to roll it because yeah. it's not attacking anyone. It would be business as usual. Right. Uh, and then if you notice the next symbol here is for the Frankenstein, which the Frankensteins, <laughs> which we yeah. don't have. So then you would just simply ignore that symbol. The, the last type of symbol that you'd see is this kind of like fire flame. And this flame is symbolic of the frenzied monster. So we've put these monster mats in order of frenzy. So this, like the frenzy value here is one, one. and there's four and five. So it's increasing and you, the frenzy marker always starts at the lowest frenzied monster. 
And then there are certain uh, cards that will move that frenzy marker. But basically, anytime you see the fire symbol, it's it's pertaining to that monster. Yeah, you're activating that. You're monster. activating that monster. Yeah. So so in this case, Dracula would move one space and potentially roll three dice. Mm -hmm. So the way that uh, battles work, attacking works, is say we are in the same spot. Wolfman has made it to me, the mayor, uh, and Wolfman will now roll three dice. So I guess I will roll it for him. Mm -hmm. So there are a few symbols that you'll see on the dice. Some some sides will have nothing, Blank. which Best is case scenario. beautiful. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> that's what you want. Nothing happens in that, in that scenario. The other kind of kapow symbols <laughs> yeah. are hits. So kapow. if I get hit with these symbols, I must discard that many items unless I get defeated. And so if, if I don't have any items in front of me, or if I don't have enough of them to discard, then I get defeated. This is going to move up on the track, and I will be out until my next turn in which I would start in the hospital. And so this is bad. Once this gets to the skull, we lose immediately. Right. But if I do have items, say I had these two items, I can discard one item per hit point Kapow. to be safe. So these items are not only useful for defeating monsters, but they're also your shields. In this scenario, it doesn't matter what the number is at the top, it's just one item mm -hmm. per. So unfortunately, if you have those high numbered items that you need, they're gonna go bye-bye. Um, and then the last symbol that you see on the die is this exclamation mark. Yep. So if this symbol is rolled, you trigger that monster's special power. Mm -hmm. So whatever monster you're rolling for. So in this case, it's the Wolfman's. And they each have a different power that activates, which we'll go over in a second. Right. Now, if several of these symbols are rolled, then you activate it more than once. Yeah, you just do <laughs> you just it again and again. Activate it once per symbol. Yep. And the last thing we want to mention before we discuss the specifics of our monsters is what happens when a monster is in the same spot as a villager and attacks, mm -hmm. right? So this is why villagers are a little bit vulnerable. You roll the dice as normal, but any, any hit is going to defeat a villager. And defeating a villager will also make this go up. Mm -hmm. So you want to get the villagers to where they want to go. So whenever villagers come onto the board, they get put on the spot that it tells you to put them on. Mm -hmm. um, and on the actual villager's token, it tells you where it wants to go. So this is Renfield, and he wants to go to the hospital. So if you are able to move and guide your villager to the hospital, as soon as he gets to that spot, of course, without getting defeated, mm -hmm. you get to draw a perk card. And so perk cards are always fantastic. They are like, a, you can play them at any time, and they let you do awesome things. Like this one lets me just move a hero up to four spaces. Yours lets you move each monster up to two spaces. And mine is skip the monster phase and draw and place two items from the item bag onto the board. Yeah, so they're always good things. So we all start the game with one if you didn't realize. And that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. That is the entire game. So today we are playing with Dracula. And so let's just kind of go over what they do. Mm -hmm. So Dracula is a, from a 1930s movie. I think it's like 1931. Never heard of and, <laughs> and so with Dracula, you we are trying to defeat him by destroying his coffins. He has four coffins laid out across, yeah. across the so board. One in the crypt, these... the cave, the dungeon, and the graveyard. And so in order to defeat Dracula, in a, it says, in a space with a coffin, so you have to discard a cumulative cumulative value of six or more of the item of the red items. Right. And you place the smashed coffin on the corresponding spot below. Once we have all four of the coffins on there, then we can move to the spot where Dracula is and discard a cumulative value of six or more of the yellow items to defeat him. Yeah, so that's where these numbers at the top of these items that's really kind of shine and make and make sense. So mm -hmm. in the barn, there's a gun of a six value. So that is inherently enough to smash one of the coffins. I guess you shoot the coffin. Once this monster is defeated, he is out of the game. Mm -hmm. Like you ignore all his symbols, he's off the board. You've defeated him. He's no longer moving, right. yeah. Um, the creature from the Black Lagoon is interesting. And this is a low complexity monster. So we're playing with two medium complexity and one low. Oh, oh by the way, the uh, monster power here, whenever you roll the exclamation mark, is the dark charm. It says you place the current player's hero in Dracula's space. Oh, he just kind of sucks you in. Fantastic. Huh? So the creature from the Black Lagoon, we are trying to find its hiding place, its lair, right? This is a 1930s movie also, mm -hmm. maybe? The 50s? I don't remember anymore. Um, but basically... In order to defeat the creature, you have to go to the camp, which is here, and you have to discard items. And depending on the color of the item you're discarding is, this boat is going to move to that colored spot. So once this boat moves all the way, all the way over here, then you have found his lair, and now we can move to wherever he is, discard a one yellow, one red, and one blue to defeat him. So lots of items for this guy. Lots of items. 
And so the creature's power is rock the boat. Uh, this this power makes the boat move backwards. So it's undoing the work that you're doing yes. <laughs> to find the lair. Yeah. And then our last monster is the wolfman. And so for the wolfman, we are basically just trying to find the cure for lycanthropy. For what made him so wolfy. For what made him so wolfy, and then yeah. we defeat him. And so to find the cure, at the laboratory, which is here, we're looking for blue items of one, two, or three value. And we're going to put them on here, on these spaces. There's one, there are two spaces per number. Once we have all six, then we can go to wherever the wolfman is and discard um, six plus of the red items yep. to defeat him. And so the wolfman's power is he bites. He has a wolfy bite. So every every person in that wolfman's space is bitten, is attacked. So you must have the one. items to shield from that. Correct. Okay. And that is the entire game. That yep. is all three of our monsters. We are Wolfman going to reset the board. Here. And we're going to get Board started. Shop. I think you are at the theater. So don't let this get to here. Mm -hmm. Don't let us run out of time. Yeah, time is those monster cards. Time is those monster cards, and then we'll we'll be fine if we yeah. get defeated in those. Okay, so we're gonna get started, and we're gonna go in this order. So it's gonna go Naveen, then you, then me. Okay. So, <laughs> so Naveen. Naveen is a professor. What would you like to do? First? Okay, so I have four action points here. My first action point, I'm just. Would you be okay with the mayor going to the barn? I'm gonna push the mayor to the barn so that I can defeat this coffin. Correct, because it's a it's a level six red, and we need at least four level six reds, and that's perfect. But I mean, unless you need that action, because I could go. One, oh no, actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think I think you should go there, and okay. then that way you get... So that's one action point. So that's one. one. Okay, I'm going to move to the church, too. I'm going to pick up the cross at the church. So I'm just going to place all my items on my character right here. So that's Good three, idea. and then... Let's actually lay this down. Lay these down. Sure. So you can see them better. Yeah. There, there you go. go. So that's three. Okay, and then with my fourth action, this is where I'm kind of stuck. So I'm a little nervous about moving into this spot here, because if we draw a wolfman, it's coming at me. So I might just omit... Should I just omit an action here and not? Because I I only have one item, and I would hate to lose that item. To Can't you take your special right action again? Uh, you know, can can you take the special action multiple times? Yeah. So okay, you, you so can take your I can take it again. again. So I think I'll, maybe I'll just move the courier. So I'll move the courier uh, into the lab. Sure. How's that sound? Okay. Good. All right, courier's in the lab. So that's four action points. That's it for me. So we are going to. Did you you pick? The, oh, this is your item. Okay. That's my item. Yeah. So I'm we're gonna pick it. up monster card. All right, so no items get placed onto the oh, board. Great. This is a um, mummy event. So the mummy is not in play. So we don't have to worry we, about we don't that. Have to worry about it. But now the oh, wolf I'm man so glad I didn't, is going to move one space. I'm so glad I didn't hang out there. So the wolf man is going to come at, to the closest uh, hero. hero. So it's me right there. One. Uh, so no die rolling. Dracula. Uh, Dracula will also move. Okay, so they're going to move to the abbey over here. Ooh. Up this road. Dracula's getting started here. Right. And the invisible man. And we the invisible man the invisible is also... Man. Not in play. So we don't do the dice again because the uh, no player is in harm's way as of right now. Correct. Okay. So right. you are done. I'm done. Um, and it's going to be your turn, the courier. So you have four actions. It says place your hero in any space with another hero. Well, we definitely think that the courier should pick up an item. Yeah, one. Right? Here's so one. One action. That's one. Probably move here to pick up three and then go back. Two, three... Yeah, so you can pick up as many items that are in the space for one action. So that's not an individual action to pick up each. Correct. And then should we move the courier to either my spot? Where's the courier trying to go with these blue items? The lab, right back here. Oh, yeah. Yep. So let's just move back to lab. Yeah, back right? to lab. Four. Bam. All right. So the courier is done. done. That was quick. Here we go, monster card. So three items go okay, onto the board. Okay, three items. We're going to pull three items from the bag. Okay, here so, is one, two. Thank you. So we have a yellow four that's going to go to the and church. Three. It's the crucifix. Oh, perfect. I'm right we there. We have a nebularium, which is going to go to the tower. Where's Tower's the tower? Here, it's a blue three. Good. Another blue three. This is a, a For the institute. rotenone. Oh, shoot. I wish oh, we kind of stayed that there. Right. Okay. Okay, and then, now this is a villager event. It says place Dr. Cranley. Dr. Cranley is going to go to the institute. Where are we? All right, Dr. Cranley, oh, sorry, Dr. Cranley's gonna go to the laboratory. It starts at the lab, yep. So where's the lab? Right where you are. Perfect, oh, perfect. Yeah. So Dr. Cranley wants to go to the precinct. So all the so way we up can there. Get the they precinct. wanna find their way up there. All right, and then now we're going to attack monster. There's no invisible man, so we nope. skip that, but we have yep. a frenzied Frenzy. monster attack. Okay, so that means uh, this character's gonna move forward one, one space. Spot. Okay, so now they're in the mansion. That's it, Okay. nothing gets rolled. Okay. We are still Just wanna stay away from these guys. Okay. All right. So my turn. I'm the mayor. You have five action points. I do. 
one of which is going to be picking up this nice six pointer red rifle. Right. One. And I'm going to go, that's one. So let's go two, three, four. Okay. Are you going to shoot the coffin? I am. Five. Five. Boom. So this Blast. gets discarded. It's out of the game. And then this coffin is destroyed. Okay. So this is, we are one down on that's these. From the dungeon. So Correct. that's going to go and flip up and it's all smashed up. All right, three more <clears throat> coffins to go to defeat Dracula. Okay, so monster card. That was five, right? So one to pick, pick up, up two, two, three, three four, four five. and then smash five. Yeah. Okay, I am itemless, but good thing all the monsters are not okay, here. Okay, gray. Three gray. items. Okay. So here we go, three items. That's we one, have two, the yellow three, three tablet that's gonna go to the museum. Okay. We have this shovel that goes to the graveyard. Perfect. That's a two red, a one blue, a kite to the goes to the tower. Oh, that's good. That's. More materials for the lab over here. Yeah, that is great. We also have a villager event. So this says on the move. Move the frenzy marker to the next monster. Oh no. Okay, so now the creature the, from the Black Lagoon is now is the frenzied, frenzied monster. Frenzied. Move each villager one space towards their safe location. So Dr. Cranley. Oh no. Where's the precinct? It's going to go this way. Okay, so the Dr. Cranley is going to move closer to the wolf man. And the frenzied monster is now going to move. Okay, and the frenzied monster is this one right here. Yeah. So the frenzied monster is the creature from the Black Lagoon, mm -hmm. and it needs to move three spaces towards anybody. It three looks spaces, like, is it? yeah, it's oh, three wow. spaces. It looks like it's equidistant to this villager and the and this professor. hero. And so, because they're the same distance, it go it'll go towards you. Mm -hmm. So move it three spaces towards. So it's gonna you. go one, two, three. So these two guys are gonna hang out. Oof. Okay, so no die rolling still, avoid but those dudes. we are not in, uh, we have a lot of danger it's coming not our way. Okay. So, so we are going to use this person yeah. to kind of keep track of whose turn it is next. Okay. I think yeah. that's easiest. Yeah, so I just finished my turn. It's now back to Naveen. Okay. So I don't like what's going on over here. Remember, we also have these perk cards that we, we do, can use yeah. at any time. I don't like the fact that I'm surrounded here. Um, you need to get that villager out of there you know i think i might pick up this this uh i should just pick this up right i'm already here yeah definitely so let's go one two three and then four sure just get the heck out of there that was everything that's four actions yeah that's four all right monster so three items oh, okay three items good all right three items so we have some yellows here this okay. is a yellow four wolf's bane these two all the go camp. to the museum. So we have a uh, Canop canopic jar and a scroll of tot? Tot. 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 <laughs> well, the museum is loaded, so. So we also have a villager event, and it's just this, it says to place Lucy at the theater. So this is Lucy. Okay. I'd like to put Lucy the at the theater. theater. Is there. Oh, okay. And Lucy wants to go to the mansion. Yeah, let's lay them down. The mansion. So she's theater, trying to get over here. She's trying to go mm. over there. Okay, not too far, but I can drop her off. A little dangerous. <laughs> okay, so our monsters attack. This is Dracula. Yeah, Dracula. Dracula is going to move two spaces. Two spaces. Okay, so wow. it's one, two. They're on our tail. They're on our tail. Yeah. And then our frenzied monster, which is the creature from the Black Lagoon, is also going to move two spaces. Okay, I think we have an attack. So, do you want the creature to attack you or to attack the courier? Oh, I don't. Well. You know what? Your the choice. Courier does have a one, two, and three. So if he there does... are plenty of other blue items on. Yeah, the board. if he does get attacked, we can give up the three because there's another three right here. And it's also only one die. It's also only one die. I like it. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Okay, so let's say it's gonna attack. Okay. So here you go. All right, Good so luck. I'm gonna roll in the center of the board, and we got a tight shot here. Nothing! Yes. Oh, you should roll. <laughs> high five. High five, it is. We should roll. You should roll for us every time. So That's that was that it. Works. Okay, good. So. Next is. That person. The courier. <laughs> should they drop off all three items and then. They need to get out of there. They could drop off all three items and then. Pick go that here. one up? The, well, no, no they, they won't have enough actions. They can drop off two items and then move over to the institute and pick up that one. That way they're protected if this guy comes and attacks again. Okay. Yeah, what do you think about that? Sure. So drop off maybe the... The three. Yeah, the three, right? Yeah, because I don't like the idea of having to use a higher number for a shield. Correct. So let's do the three and the two. Three and two, yep. Because, oh no, let's do... But there are more threes. There is more threes, yeah. So we can use it as protection. Okay, let's just... You want to do the one and the two? Yeah, I think the one and the two, because then you can okay. go pick up the three later. 
So we have a one, one and a two. And a two on the wolf. So that's right. two actions. One, two. You want to move that person? So this is three. Three and then pick up four. four. Yeah. There we go. Good and job. then you got a little bit of protection. Okay. Okay. So monster, monster card. Good luck. Don't be... No items. No items. Okay. This is another um, mummy. Mummy, mummy action. Okay, so, so that the doesn't mummy's happen. not in play. But our monsters will move. So the wolf man moves one space. Okay. Wow, they are on. Dracula moves one space. Okay, so Dracula is okay. going to come over here. That's, yeah, I do, oh, have, do have some have items, items, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here you go. Roll two your dice. Feet. Okay. Nothing but place the current player's hero in Dracula's face. So the current player is. This one. Uh, the courier will come. Well, this is a that's not party. Too bad, I guess. Yes, that's a bad. And we didn't get attacked, so nobody lost anything. No. Okay. And then the last person is the invisible man. Invisible man. Which so we're, is. we're we're doing okay right now. Okay. Okay, so now it goes to me. Yeah, do you want to handle the other blue and try to get just done with the wolfman? Or do you want to jetpack somewhere else? You know what? You could pick up Lucy and bring... try to get her to the mansion. <gasps> I should. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I yeah, could totally do that right totally now. Do it. But I'm not going to pick up any, any items. items. But, but there's so many items in the mansion for the future. Yeah, I just have to... Be careful now. And you'd be in this this section. And I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, plus these monsters are closest to you, you all anyway. Right. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Yeah. So I'm gonna go one, two, Lucy, we're going to bring back. Lucy. Come on, Lucy, let's go. Three, four, five. Oh. Alright, so Lucy has made it to the mansion. Perfect. And because Lucy made it to her destination, I get to draw a perk. Your character gets to take that, right? A perk card, which is a taxi ride. Okay. Oh, I like so this says place a hero in any non water space. So that's just a nice little uh kind of like a just move teleportation. Somebody around. Yeah. If somebody's in danger. Okay. Teleportation freebie. Okay. So that was my turn. No, do no. okay. Yeah. yeah. No, no, you're good. Okay. Yeah. So I drew a monster two card, items. we get two items. Okay, so two items we drew are a two in the lab. That's great. That is great. It's an experiment. That is perfect because we have a one, three, and now a two. So we have what we need there. And then a three in the in is going to be up here. That's that's awesome. We also have a two up there. So yeah, but we don't. if the two is in the lab, that's where you need to drop off the two anyway. That's true. So. This is a um, monocane mixture. Right. Wow. Okay. Okay, so this is a Frankenstein event. We don't have Frankenstein in play, no. so we can skip that. And now we do our monster attacks. So the creature from the Black Lagoon will move two spaces oh, first. Oh man, back to us. We're in some. Oh, we're in trouble over we're here. We're in trouble. Okay. Yeah. So one, two. Okay, so we're. And then, who to attack? Do you want to get attacked, or does the courier? Want well, it to has attack? to roll, right? Yeah, but I have to choose. It has to choose a a, a target first. Oh, uh, target me. You, not the courier. I would like that courier to keep its three, right? To. Okay. Right? I'd be willing to get rid of one of my churches, the four church. Sure, it's your turn next anyway. Right, so I can so get out of there. This is one die. So they're being attacked? Oh, do, actually, I'm supposed to roll it, yeah. I think, if it's my monster. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm so sorry, Naveen. But you get okay. hit by one. It. So I'm going to I'm gonna block it with the cross, so I lose. we lose one item. Yeah, we lost That's an item. Out. Okay. But at least we didn't get defeated. Okay. Uh, okay, and then the wolfman will move. So oh, yeah. now, with that knowledge, do you want the same wolfman thing. to attack same, you Yeah, still? same thing, because I'm going to take that person and try to get out of there. All right, one die. Here we go. Come on, nothing. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's okay. So this is now the crucifix. Now it's out. All right, so okay. that's out. Wow. Uh, well, they and are... then the invisible man is last. We don't have the invisible man in play. Okay. So that is my turn. We now move to you. Okay, so professor. so where does that person, that person wants to go to the precinct? Ooh. Oh, the villager? The villager with Yes. Me. So if you can't see, this is kind of a big cluster, yeah. but this is the villager. They're everywhere. Dr. Cranley and Dr. Cranley would like to go to the precinct. I can go one, two, yeah. three. And remember, I, we also have all of these. We do. Yeah, perk I have mine cards. also. So. Uh, and if we didn't make it clear earlier, even if I have a perk card, we can use it on another player's turn. Yes. It doesn't have to be yes. on my turn, yes. as long as it's during the hero phase. Right. Okay. So I'm getting out of there with <laughs> Dr. Cranley. Should I just drop them off? I should drop them off. That's one less villager we have to worry about. Yeah, we I, get a benefit. I, and I'm next to a precinct where I can get a, a two. Cause and if you can get to the camp, I'm trying to get working. to the camp. That's what I'm trying to work towards. Okay, I like it. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go one, two, three. 
So Dr. Cranley is successful Dr. Cranley at has getting arrived. to the precinct, and then I get a card. Okay, choose one. Place the wolfman in any space. Oh, that's great. Wait, what's it called? Hunter becomes prey. Aha. Choose one of these options. Place the wolfman in any space. That's perfect. I can just move him out. Yeah. Like, tuck him away. That's nice. Or move any monster three spaces. That's pretty nice. That is I nice. like that. That's good to have. I think we so. have this one, Repel, which says move each monster up to two spaces. Yeah. So that's also So there. that's three actions. For my fourth action, I should probably just pick up that blue too. Yes. Okay, cool. So fourth action, we got something just to kind of protect myself. So let's go ahead and draw the a monster. The concern though now is the courier is a little bit in trouble. Yes. Do you want to so move the courier somewhere else? Um, we can place a hero in any non- water space it will buy us time because now that all the monsters are here they're gonna have to travel to get to one of us in any non-water space yeah. why don't you just put them right back in the lab is that not too close to where the monsters are I now mean, that's what it has to get done if it... i mean this is scary <laughs> oh my gosh so it's still the hero phase we haven't put any monster cards so we can still use these cards this taxi ride says place a hero in any non-water space we could move the courier straight to the camp and the courier can get started on the we could, the Black Lagoon. Yeah, we could we could do that. Um, that way, they're kind of tucked away as well. They are. They would be tucked away. Yeah. The only concern is we're trying to get that character to to handle the getting the cure for the Wolfman, but that's fine. The because they can just progress on these blue lines. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I say we do it. Okay. So taxi ride. So I'm going to spend this taxi ride it's card. This little special card that we have there. And now we are going to send the courier all the way to. The camp. Okay. Are there any be... other perk cards that you would like to? No, use? I think that's pretty good. Uh, I right. think we should just save it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ready? Yeah. Good luck. So okay. two items. Okay, two items. Okay. So these are the two items that we got there. All right. So it looks like the torch. It's a five. Wow. It's a oh, five nice. red. Five to the barn. Oh, that's where the gun was. And this is the centrifuge. In the lab. So wow. one. We got a one blue. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. So um. Oh my the gosh. Event, that courier has literally everything it needs to, to solve this. It has the two threes, and there's a one and a two right there if it gets back to there. Oh. That's okay. That's a-okay. You have this that can move a hero up to four spaces. That's true. So, so the Invisible Man is not in place. So we're going to skip that event. Good. And so now the, for the monster attack, uh, the first one is the mummy. We don't have in play. Not in play. The next one is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yep. moves one space towards the nearest hero. Okay, so, so this one is... Here, right? Is it this one? One, two, three. This one's also one, two, three. So then it's player's choice at that point? Yeah, so it's your choice. And, but, and, but they can also move in water also. One, two, three, right? Yes. So all of them are three equal distance? Uh-huh, for the creature. And how many spaces it moves? One. One space. Should we just tuck it in the river? It's up to you. You know what? Let's tuck it down here at the shop. At the shop? Yeah. Okay. Because then on your turn, you can you can hightail it out of there. Okay. Uh, so that was the creature, and then the last one is the Frankenstein's, it's which not is in not play. in play. Yep. And so. then no attack dice this time. Yay. Now it's the courier's turn. Okay, you're right there. I think uh, the courier should be handling this blue lagoon right here. All right, so pick up? Yeah, pick up all of them. So this is one. Now let's get to work on the Black Lagoon. Okay. So, so the what most is the efficient most... is blue. Turn into blue. A blue? Yep. Okay, so, so turn, in, turn in one of the blue. Let's do this They're one. all threes, so it doesn't matter. So we turn in one so blue, so that's one, one action. So this is going to go to the blue X. So that's two actions so far, two actually. Two actions. We can turn in a yellow. That's the next advanced. Okay. So a four? Yep. It doesn't matter. So that's three actions. Three actions. And then we can do another yellow if you want or, to really progress them. Okay, so this is a fourth We're action. We're trying to do the most efficient pro progression right there. Right? That was a fourth action. Okay, fourth action, so then all the way here. So we're trying to get to this area here. To the layer, we're okay. We're trying to get the boat to the layer. Well, it looks like we're about halfway there. Yeah, is, that was that was good. That was good. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was all four turns. Do, do we want to use any of these cards? We're okay still? I think the monsters are a little bit of a ways away. I think it's not bad where we are. Oh boy. This one's kind of close to me. I don't have any items. Yeah, no matter where I put that one, uh, it was going to kind of be like that. You want to take the risk? You got to. I think you should take the risk. Huh? I think we should take the risk. All right, we are taking a risk. Okay, Here we go. So we have three items. Okay, three items. Let's so three items three from items. the goodie bag. What you got? I think I got three items here. Oh, nice. We got some reds. 
Thank you. Reds are needed for the coffin. So this is a uh, red two dart end. at the end. Perfect. This is a blue one at centrifuge the at the well, lab. They're all at the lab, huh? We have two centrifuges there now. And a red four a pitchfork. Oh, this is perfect. We need the Somebody barn. needs to get to that barn. Okay. Uh, we have a villager event. This is the ich ichthyologist. Okay, so nice. We need Dr. Reed. Okay. So this is Dr. Reed. We're going to put Dr. Reed at the institute. Where's the institute? The institute is all the way down here. Good. So the Dr. Reed is trying to go to the camp, which is all the way up oh, there, Dr. Dr. Reed. Oh, Dr. Reed, you may not make far. it. Dr. Why? Reed might not make it. <laughs> All right. So well, you know um, what? Whoever comes back to the lab can can deal with Doctor Reed. I mean, good thing the courier can try and can teleport some way. I don't know. Correct. We'll we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see about Doctor Reed. Yeah. We'll so see. now our monsters attack. So the creature from the Black Lagoon is going to move one space towards. So towards... it's equal distance from this hero and this villager. So it's going to go towards the hero. Yeah. Correct. So no rolling. No rolling. Our frenzied monster, which is oh. Which is him. The creature is going to move one space. Also going to move. Which is going to go to do, me. Do, do, do. Sounds like I am going to be defeated. Uh-oh. I can't bear it. <laughs> you want me to roll for you? So yeah. what we need is two blanks. two blanks or... Yeah, we'll take exclamation Or we'll marks. take an exclamation point. Now, the, the distribution of dice here, it's it's a 50% chance of getting hit per dice. A 1 in 6 shot of having the exclamation point and a 1 in 3 shot of... Okay. Have a blank. Blanks. Oh, both. Oh, wow. Okay. Worst case scenario. I didn't have any items, so okay. I am defeated. This is gonna go up yes. one. I go off the board, and I'm gonna start at the hospital when it's my yeah. turn next. All the way away from. And me. then the exclamation mark. So the monster's ability is gonna activate. So it's gonna go. The boat is gonna go backwards one notch. Yeah. So red. We need red to turn in. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate. So this is going to go... That was unfortunate. Bye-bye. And then it's going to be my turn. So I'm the mayor, and I'm going to go... I back respawn the, yeah, in hospital. the hospital. I'm back. <laughs> and I have five actions, so I really need some items. Do we have anything that's... You know, I'm going to clean this up a little here. There we go. Okay. I don't have any items. Yeah, you got to go somewhere. We need to, you know what? We need to just eliminate one of these. We need to, yeah. This, need to this focus. lab, I think, is the biggest, the easiest one. I'm going to go there. Yeah. I'm actually going to spend, can I actually use my rush? Yeah, get get yourself over there. It says move a hero up to four spaces. Yeah, do I'm it. I'm going to spend this so perk. So one, two, three, four. So now you're just in the lab for free. Yeah, so that's four. So now I'm starting my turn there. So it's one, two, three, four. And I'm going to pick these up for one. So this is one action of my five. I'm going to spend them to... Find, help find the cure for the Wolfman. So this is one action. That's two Put actions. Put that one too. on there. Yeah, I have two actions total. This is another action. So three actions spent. Okay, I don't have those two threes. So I'm going to keep this with me. And then I have two more actions. I should bring Dr. Reed with me now. Yeah, so you can draw them closer. Yeah, I can draw action. them closer for one. So I'm guiding for one. And I have one more action. <laughs> I don't want to get closer. Yeah, because these guys are over here. Now, we, we can do a skip the monster phase. I do have that. And two items go out onto the board. That's kind of nice. Uh, you can move two monster or each monster two spaces. That's also nice. You can actually do that that perk now. Because if, if an item miraculously happens to end up on my space, I can pick it up you wanna for skip one. You want to skip the monster space? Is this a, is this a monster phase? ideal time to do that, you think? I don't know. They're They're not really close to us. I wish you could teleport us. You know, you know what's interesting? The courier, their special action as a, a is to go to where a hero is. Why yeah, don't you just so stay I'm there and turn. waste the action? Let them teleport on their turn and use the two threes to get the cure. It's just, okay. It's, you know, just waste then, the action. Then do you want to spend that now? Which one? This one, so I can see if I can pick up the item. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go break of dawn. It's uh, skip the next monster phase. Draw and place two items from the item bag. So we're not going to draw from the monster card deck. And we're just going to get two items and get it onto the table. So this is getting spent. It's out of there. So we are not going to have a monster phase. That's Good. nice. After getting defeated once. These two. Some yellows. Okay, camp. Okay, oh, so back at the camp. That's neither of which are on my spot. So we have one at the camp. And the flower at the docks. The docks all the way out there. And that's, what is this? Witch? Witch? No, sorry. It's Wolfsbane. How dare I? What? Okay, so I still have one more action. I guess, should I just... Leave it. I think you should waste it. All right. Unfortunately. Well, at least I'm here to defend this villager. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it for my turn. 
Uh, we have no monster phase because of that perk card. Correct. So it's now going to be your turn, the professor. Okay, so I... So what do you want to do? Hmm. So I, I have, my ability is to move a character. I don't want to move you. You don't want to move any of us. I don't want to move that one because I want them to go to you. Um. Okay, we need to defeat somebody. So I think I should probably move towards the barn. Well, let's see. If, if uh, the courier is going to move here to find the cure for the wolfman, we need um, a total of six or more of the red items in order to actually defeat him. So we should probably get started on that. Well, yeah, and the, and the red items are also needed for these coffins. So I was thinking about just going into this area and just collecting all this stuff up here. Now, I can't do it all in one turn, but I'm going to try. So I'll go one, two, pick up three, and then back here four, and then try to set myself up to go over here. Because hmm. these coffins are also a big problem. They're, you got to pick up six plus red. Not a lot of red's coming out, a bunch of yellow's coming out, so I'm assuming more red's gonna come soon. Okay, I guess just use your turn as a... As a, just a gathering stuff, gathering right? Gathering thing, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you like the idea of going to the inn first, or should I go one, two, three, pick up here, and then tuck myself away up there? Pick up there, because... Where's there? Pick up at the barn, because okay. if you can do that, by the time it gets to your turn, you can try to hunt down the wolfman. Okay, sure, sounds right? good. Let's do it. All right. So I'll go one, and break. two, three... Four. So I have a, a level five and a level four here. At the barn. At the barn. That's all your actions? Yeah. So it's one, two, three, pick up four. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ah, two. Two items. Okay, two items. Come on, red. Come on, laboratory. We need some red. <laughs> red at the lab. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Here you go. Nope. Oh. So we have a three cosmic cosmic ray diffuser at oh, the, the tower. tower. Lots wow. of blue at the tower. And we have a, a stake at, at the, the Abbey. Abbey. So yellow, stake. yellow three. Yep. We have a Frankenstein's event. No. So, not happening. And then we have the creature from the Black oh my Lagoon gosh. moving two spaces. Uh oh. One two. Yeah, we have no choice. Oh boy. Oh man, those are the threes we need to protect with. I know. Oh my gosh. It's okay, there's a ton over here. Yeah. We have okay. no choice. One two. All right. Well. It's your monster. Okay. It's just one die. One die. You can do this. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Okay, so we have a hit point. All right. We are going to discard this. Discard that fossil, three. That massive, massive three. That's unfortunate. All right, and now we also have the wolfman moving. How much basis? Oh, no. oh. Yeah, this wolfman is. Oh, well. Oh, we can move to you. You you can move to me. Yes. <laughs> oh, move it to me, towards me. Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, because the equal distance, one, two, and one, And you can two. just get rid of your blue one. I can That get way it. you can, oh my gosh, you can kill it. And I can kill it, yeah. Okay, exclamation point. Every person in the wolf's man space is hit. Okay, <laughs> so I'm in the wolf's man space. So I'm, wolf's I'm, man's wolf, <laughs> wolf man's space. So <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to get rid of this blue because I want to hang on to those reds right okay. there, okay? So that's that. And in the future... If we fear the wolfman, you can use this hunter becomes prey perk mm -hmm. to place the wolfman in, on any space. You can just say bye bye. Right. right, just get him out of there. All right, but I want him close because I want to kill it. G correct. Uh, no invisible man. So okay. this is this is done. Okay. So now the courier. Uh, huh. So let's spend the one action for the courier to move into my space. Do you not want to pick up the camp stuff? Oh. This this yellow chit. No, we can't defeat the Wolfman. Because it, it ate up the, yeah, yeah. Because alternatively, we can move the courier to your space, and the courier can go to the theater and then to the tower. Okay, let's do it. I wish I had access to a three, a blue three. We had so much access to it earlier. Oh my god. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah, let's do it. So for action one, the courier is going to take their special action to go to a spot with any other hero, which is here, so that's one. And two, three, and then pick up for four. All right? stuff. Oh, yeah. this person is loaded. Very, very protected. Do you want me to move the Wolfman? Because I do not want to. I don't want to lose one of those. I don't want to lose one of those high value reds. I have this thing that says place the Wolfman in any space. Sure. Okay. Where do we want to move the Wolfman? In the crypt. <laughs> Tuck him away, and then we'll just. We'll deal with him later. Okay. He's not gonna, we're not gonna be able to defeat him. In, okay. In... 
We're gonna use the special card, so uh, choose one, place the Wolfman in any space, or move any monster three spaces. Let's go ahead and place him in uh, away. So. All right. Uh, we said where? The you, wanna move. you wanna really tuck him away? Uh, I was joking slightly, but also not joking. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's talk move more. to the crypt. We'll yeah. deal with them later. We'll go find them later. All right. Okay. There you go. go. Away. You can hang out with uh, one of Dracula's coffins, <laughs> yeah. which we really need to work on. We do. That's why I didn't want to lose those reds there. Okay, so now we draw the card. Monster card. All right. Here we go. Good luck. So two items. Okay, two items. Come on. We need some reds. Come on, red. Oh, okay, a six, oh, perfect. A six. Oh, okay, at the shop. This is a six silver cane at the shop. Perfect. And then we have uh, some garlic. At the yellow end. two at the More end. More stuff at the end. That's good. Okay, and then we are going to skip this event because it's for the Invisible Man. Okay. Uh, the first monster attacking is the mummy, which we don't have. Now that the creature from the Black Lagoon is going to move one space. Okay. Just one, one space. space. I think that's probably the. And Frankenstein's are not next. In, yeah. but okay, good. Not we in. needed we needed a round like that. We did. We needed that. So okay, my turn. Mayor. This person has a lot of a lot of these items. Okay, so what uh, what do I do? Because well, yeah, do you want to get out of there and try to get them to the camp? Where's the camp? All the way up here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the same. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're going to bring Dr. Reed to the camp. Ready, Doctor? Do <laughs> this it. is going to be a dangerous mission. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So the Good Doctor job, has Maybe. arrived. You get your special and card. And I get a perk card. This is Visit from the Detective. Choose one. Place the Invisible Man in any space or move any monster three spaces. Okay, so we don't have the Invisible Man in play. I so. wonder if we should do this now. Move any monster three spaces. Yeah, yeah you want to get the this person out into the crypt. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I said, uh, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna so, spend this now. Okay, so it's gonna move one, two, three into the crypt. So we have with two, the two isolated, kind of locked away. Two isolated yes, monsters. Yes, so now we need to run amok. Okay, so that was all my actions. We are going to move on to the monster phase. Here we go. Items. Two items. Two items. Oh, we have a we have a monster event. <laughs> no. Way. Well, let's do it in, in, in order. <laughs> okay, sorry. I read ahead a little. Okay, there we go. So we have some two items. We have the yellow two, which is wine at the, the church. church. Oh, very nice. How fitting. We have the three red three, which is a knife at the docks. The docks, okay. All right. And then now we do have a monster event that's going to happen. This is for Dracula. Form of the bat. Place Dracula in the space with the current player's hero. I tried so hard oh, boy. to move away from all oh, of these boy. monsters. So... Okay, so you're going to roll two die here. I mean, the good thing is um, the monster that has the event is never one of the monsters that attack. Right. Unless it's a frenzied monster, right. but... So that's Which good. is what happened in that one when you first got hit. Mm -hmm. So then, um, the mummy moves, Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's not in, move, and, and invisible. invisible. So man. all three... No, All three good. monsters not in play. Okay, so well, uh, there's Oops. an attack, though, right? Huh? Oh, is there no attack? For where? Oh, even though they're here with you. No, events never, the events never trigger an attack. Gotcha. It's just kind of something that happens. It's okay. like a scare tactic. Or okay, something. so you gotta get out of there. <laughs> you gotta get out of there. Okay. Back to me. It is back to you. Um. So wanna, you have these two. You really you know, wanted. I, I wanna be efficient with. I don't wanna spend nine to destroy something of value six. Does that make sense? Yeah. If I can go. One, two, three, pick up four, then I'll have a six, a six, a five, and a four, and then eventually I can move down here to the graveyard and smash this one in the graveyard. Okay. You like that idea? Yeah. So I'll be leaving the inn, though. I'll be leaving these behind for somebody like yourself. That's fine. Okay. We're going to go one, two, three, pick up four. Okay. Okay. And Another gathering it. turn for you. Another gathering turn. Let's yeah. just hope that no monsters attack you. Yes. Right? Ready? I'm in the, I'm in an open area, but I'm pretty far away. Yeah, you are. So two items. Two items, okay. Two items. Okay, come on. Oh. Ooh, there. we got some yellows. How many okay. yellow are in this game? But I think there's an equal number of colors. <laughs> I don't know. So two flower at the docks okay. and the four charm, yellow four at the camp. Okay. So right there. And then... Uh, oh, no. What is it? Sorry, I'm reading ahead. So the monster event is for the werewolf. 
So the hunt here. is on. If uh -oh. no hero has the hunted emblem, Which give it to the current one. player. Okay. So we didn't talk about the hunted emblem. This is what the werewolf comes with. And this is kind of like you're marked for death in the werewolf's eyes. You're mm. the person that, that the werewolf wants to attack next. So you give it to the current player, which Me. is you. And then move the wolfman three spaces towards the hero. Oh my gosh. So here we go. One, two, three. Ah, <laughs> here I am thinking <laughs> I'm safe. Mark of the beast. Uh, okay, so, so I'm going to put this on my professor right there so we know. All right. I have the emblem. So the creature from the Black Lagoon is going to move one space. Okay. Good. The Dracula is going to move one space towards me. Which is already there. <laughs> And then we're going to roll two dice. Go ahead. It's, uh, you it's roll your, the, your oh, monster. Oh, it's my monster. Okay. Nothing. Okay. One. One. By one. One to one. So That's fine. Okay. I'm okay, okay with that. Okay. And then the frenzied monster, which is our creature from the Black Lagoon, is going to move another space. Or, okay. well, so let's see. One, two, three, or one, two, three. Where do you want me to move him? Do you it's, want to be it's safe? It's up to you. I have items, I guess. Okay. I should put them at the mansion. You like that? Or would you rather they be in the lagoon? Let's talk this out. Last time I put this guy, it, it was <laughs> Um, I think that's good. Because if you put the mo the monster in the lagoon, then his only attacked. option is attacking me. Correct. Yeah. And you have no items. Yeah. So I would good. like to not have to get rid of items, but... And that's it. Okay. So that was the monster event. Now we're moving on to the courier. Okay. okay. I think you should Where use is... a special action to, to go one, two, and then three, four. Right? Yes. Okay. So the courier is going to move to this spot. That's one as a special action. Right. Two, two to move here. And then spend the and two then threes. And spend the two threes as two other actions to complete. Okay. So we have... The wolfman's cure. Yes, this wolfman needs to go bye-bye. So now, uh, who has this? We all have it just as a, as a collective group? Or only your character has this? So the cure goes to the active player. Correct, yeah. So And then uh, only the person cure. with the cure, only the hero who has the cure can defeat the wolfman. But now you can pass the cure, right? You can share item. it like, a, like yeah, an item. Yeah, I'm right next to you, so that, that's not a problem. Oh, this is, no, this is them. You. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was, but that was all the actions, right? That was all four? Yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah. All right, okay. do you want to move that, use that? Yeah, let's move them. Actually... Where are you going to move him to? Well, I can tuck this guy back one, two, and then this one can go back one, two. Let's do that so we can get the Dracula away from me. Yeah. I don't have any items. Yeah, I don't like Dracula being there. Okay, so we're going to spend this your... Repel. Repel. Move each monster up to two spaces. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, tuck him back into the crypt, <laughs> and then one, two, tuck him near the abbey, and then this one, we up to two. So we can go one, or we can go one, two. What, what do you want to do? Or you... One, two. Or uh, one, two. Yeah, let's go one, two over here. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, Excellent. we're ready. Good luck. Monster. Two items. Two items, okay. And that's an invisible man. This is an invisible man event, so we're going to end up skipping it, but let's put yeah, these two, two items. items. Oh, okay. in the theater. So we have a red rapier. I don't even know. I've never, never learned how to pronounce that. Rapier. And then the kite, the tower. All right. Invisible man event, skip. We have the money, mummy attacking, which we don't have, and now we have the creature from the Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon moves. One space. One. <laughs> you keep calling the, the it Blue the Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon was another movie, that's why. Yeah, this is another movie. Okay. Uh, and then the Frankenstein's, because okay. we don't have it play. So. Very good. Fantastic. Okay, so now it's my turn. Yes, I've been preserved. So you can pick these items up and just start moving this thing along? That's totally what's going to happen. The, prob the problem that, that stinks is we moved back, so it's going to be one space yellow, one space, but... You're there. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I don't know if I really like that. Well, you might as well pick them up, right? As one, and then you can always make a decision later. I just don't want you moving into the harm's way. I kind of want to come here and go one, two, and pick up all three of these. Three, okay. You could just oh. hide one, two, three, four, five. Oh, was it, yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah. Should we do that? I say do okay. it, yeah. So one, two, pick up for three. three. And then you move back four, five, back yeah. to the camp. That's perfect. All right, that's the end of that. We have we have no, no special <laughs> anything. No yeah, come on. we need a, another villager to come out. Ready? Yes. All right. Aha! So oh, three items. Come on, red. You've summoned it. We're running out of time here, Naveen. Are we? Yeah. Well, we have some time. Kind of. Three. Oh, All there right. we go. 
Oh, Another red rapier, which I've learned. At the theater. That's that way. Gun at the precinct. A pistol. And at the camp. Hey, look, more yellow. Lots of a yellow. A violin is at the camp. Okay, All right. summer camp. So we have the insane survivor events. So oh. you place Renfield. Wait. Renfield at the docks. Okay, all the way down there. Oh, he is, where is he trying to go? He wants to go to the hospital, which is here. Okay. So, I mean, he's pretty oh, safe he's insane right now. survivor, I see. So we can okay. we can kind of okay. leave him for a little bit. Okay, Dracula's gonna move two spots. Coming at you. <laughs> to me, well, at least I have all these items yeah. now, so. One, two. Yeah, you can give one of your yellows. I'm gonna roll two dice. Good luck. My turn, thank you. <sighs> One, one hit, hit. Point. Okay. okay, so you want me to get rid of a yellow? Yeah, well, yeah, because your red is going to move you all the way past. Yeah, that's that, great, so. yeah. So that's one yellow. Okay, that's that. Uh, and then our frenzied monster, which is a creature from the Black Lagoon, is going to move two spaces. So it's going to go one, it can go one, two. What, where do you want it to go? This this has options now. One, I two. I want it to go towards you. Okay, so one, two. <laughs> yeah. One, two. You got it. Okay. okay. Perfect. So that's it. All right. I want to defeat a monster. This so is so it's going to you. Okay. You can you can smash some coffins. Uh, well, I think the the plan was to go one, two, three, and then I could smash with my six, a level six to smash a six. Yes. Okay. Do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna go. Hello, one, <laughs> two, three, and then I'm not gonna pick up quite yet, but I'm gonna use this. Uh, what is this thing? A silver cane, a number six silver cane to smash, to smash this one right here from the graveyard. So that's a smashed one there. So we're halfway there with Dracula. Oh my goodness. We're getting closer. We just need to, we need to, we need to get the wolfman. Yeah. So that person right there needs to get my items to kill it. And the, that person can move to you. We need to move the wolfman. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was all four of your actions. Yeah. We kind of tucked the wolfman away just as, by time. But yeah. now we need Wolfman to yeah, come out. to come on out. So no items this time. No mummy event. There's a mummy event. So the Wolfman is going to move one space, which is good. Good. One. And then Dracula the Dracula. Is going to move, but it's already there with oh you. Oh my goodness. Well, you can you can afford to get rid of that yellow, so well, one one hit only. Please. You want me to roll or you roll? You roll. Okay. One hook. Two hook. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, there they go. I could also choose to die, but that's silly. Okay. No, yeah, that's just silly. Um... And then Invisible Man will move. We don't Which have we Invisible don't have. Man. Wow. These dice are brutal. Yeah, they are brutal. Okay, ah. There you go. All right, Courier. All right, Courier. What are you going to do? So we want the Courier to move to you, right? I suppose so, yeah. Do we care about the possibility of me being defeated? <laughs> so you want to just... Because uh... this is... this. I don't have any items. If we move the, the Courier... To where I am. It could protect you. I mean, we also have... We have some death space. We have space. some death yeah. space. Um, I think it's what do you think? Right. Yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> this your is turn. This a tough, yeah. tough decision. What do you think you should do? The courier can move to you, give you the cure. Yeah, that'll be nice. Because you're, you're going after, right? It could move to me for one, it could trade with me two, and then it can move to you to protect you. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so the courier so is going to go change of plans. So one, one it's going to hand me the hand cure. Hand you the cure. Two, two it's going to use its other special ability to go here. Three, three, and then do you want it to use one of the blue to protect you, or to to move this along, or do you want to just have two in in possession? Is there a red in this place here? There is no red here. We can have the courier pick up all the yellow. Okay. Yeah, four. pick up all the yellow. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. For four. Four. Okay, courier. So now the courier yeah, has a lot of items. Yeah. All right, so Makes monster sense. attack? Yes. Zero items. Okay. The creature from the Black Lagoon is going to go to the lagoon. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Fantastic. Bad, so close to us. Okay, <laughs> Wolfman moves one space. So towards Wolfman me. is going to go towards us. Oh, towards you. No, come towards me. All right. Frankenstein's not Nothing. in the game. Frenzy. The frenzied monster is a creature. Moves one space. You want to go over to the cave or to where the wolf is? Let's go to the cave. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So suddenly, all the monsters are where we are. They're back. Yeah, that's how they work. All right. So now it's my turn. Okay. What are you going to do, Mayor? So we can share items. Yeah. We can take items from. I think you should try to get this all the way to its end right here, if possible. 
So what colors are they? We only have blue and yellow. Yeah, blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so definitely blue. blue. So blue will get you here. And then another blue will get you here. But if you go from, yeah, blue here to blue here to yellow. We can't get to the end. No, we can't get to the end. Not yet. This is a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> Do we care about getting Renfield to the hospital? <laughs> I don't think Renfield is going to make it. To the <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I should, I, I'm feeling good about bailing. <laughs> okay, bail. Yeah, get out of there. So one, two, three. I can pick up those two and start heading to the last coffin. Two coffins. Gosh, they're all the way at the edge. Yes. That sounds like it was on purpose. Yes. Um, all right, so we're going to go one, two, three. Pick these two up. Four. Four. Five. So you're, you're going to work your way back down. Back down to, to one of these coffins. Okay. Yeah, but these are fives. I need a six. Yeah. <laughs> Very frustrating. <laughs> that is frustrating. Okay, anyway. So those were my, that's my whole turn. So let's go monsters. Three items. Okay. Oh boy. Three items. Oh, here are some reds. Yay! Where do they go? Somewhere. So this is the torch, the, the five red torch in the barn. Barn. We have the three red the fire mansion. poker in the mansion and the four red spear gun in the institute. So nowhere right. near where we are. We have a villager event on the move. Move the frenzy marker to the next monster. Okay, okay. so Wolfman's okay. frenzy. Wolfman's frenzy. I'm going to try to kill this guy as soon as possible. Move each villager one space towards their safe location. So it's just Renfield. Okay. Okay. That is. And now the frenzied monster is going to move three spaces. So it looks like Wolfman goes to the, cori the, the courier's location. Oh, man. One. And rolls for two. Ah. Uh, Save yourself. Good luck. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So which ones? We don't need a y one yellow. Well, the problem here is we have yellow, blue, yellow. <laughs> so it's just we need a, we need a, a red. red to shoot in front and then use the yellow so i i would say get rid of a yellow and yeah get rid of one of each one of each yellow yeah. one yellow one blue that okay. gives us options at least there we go so the cheapest ones yeah perfect at least that one we need to get those monsters away yeah away from them okay okay so, so back to you back to me huh can you no i can't because it just moved away so uh, it's gonna be one two three four <sighs> So, I want to defeat this guy, though. I want you to lure the wolfman towards you somehow. You know what I could do is I could use my special action, and as a professor, I can move a hero. So I can move this guy closer so that it's the closer spot. So it'll just lure closer. Because I'm true. not going to be able to do it right now. Should I just lure? Not lure. Um, I should, should I move the courier like one, two, three, and then move myself up four like that? Or go one, two, pick up three, and then four. Oh, I like that. Move the courier one, two, three, and then move yourself one. Well, I I need this to make it a four plus two, a six. Because I need right. I need to I need to kill him with a six. Mm -hmm. so, you can kill him with a nine. Yeah, that's a little overkill though, don't you think? Because we need another six here. We need another six here. Then pick this up and stay here. Okay, so one, and then. Two, three, four. Unless you really wanted to move to this spot, then decrease his movement by one. I, I'm thinking I want to be here because okay. depending on where the wolfman is, I need to get access to him and then have an action point still to kill it. Okay. So and things might change by the time it's my turn again. So you want to leave him here? Yeah. And then here? Yeah. Four? Okay. If anything, I'm I'm wondering if we can get the core here to move to you. Pick up. Well, we'll see what happens. So okay. that was all four actions. Yes. Okay. So here's your monster. All right card three items place elizabeth at the mansion oh perfect it's a worried fiance uh so let's see these three items first okay. we have two blues and a yellow okay. we've got another yellow garlic at the end the end is is loaded we have a blue two the research tower. the tower there we go another blue two analysis at the institute. institute okay okay so worried fiance so we need to place Elizabeth at the mansion, at the which mansion. Is right where this person is. Where she want wants to, to go to the tower, the tower. Wow. which is here. It's going to go this way. Uh, and then we have some, so Mrs. Franken, no, this is what the two Frankensteins. Yep. Nope. And then the frenzied monster, which is a wolfman. Wolfman, Good. yes. One space. Perfect. Come right. closer. Come closer. Okay. Come closer. All right. Courier's turn. 
You can okay. get them to the tower in one turn. <laughs> one, two, three, four, get to the tower. Should we do it? I mean, you could. The only problem is the wolfman may, you know, move closer to you. Well, no, because then it'll be one, two, three, and then one, two, three. It'll move Let's closer. Let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. Okay, we need some of these perk cards. Yes. Let's go, Elizabeth. Unfortunately, that mansion thing one, can't come. One, two, three, four. four. Yeah, perfect. So now these two, and now this person. So the fiance has no worries anymore. Elizabeth made it. Well, our villagers are are making it. Okay. So this is a courier's Taxi ride. card. Oh, it's another. It's like earlier. So place you can a place... hero on any non-water space. That's that's pretty nice because then I, you can just place me there. And yeah. Kill it. That's, that's true. Perfect, actually. Okay, good. Okay, so mark a uh, monster card. Yes. Two items. Two. Oh. This is. Ooh. The hunt is on. Not good. Oh well. <laughs> You'll, you'll see what it's going to ah, do in I a second. I think I see it. I think I see it. Two items. We have a, a red two shovel. The graveyard. The graveyard. And more stuff at the end. And more stuff Somebody at the end. Somebody needs to go to the end. All this right. is just getting ridiculous. Okay, so the hunt is on. So now we're going to make use of the emblem. Is it hunter emblem? Is it called? Something like mm -hmm. that. So it says, um, if no hero has a hunted emblem, give it to the current player. So Naveen already has a hunted emblem. So it says, move the wolf man three spaces towards the hero with a hunted emblem. One, two, three. Now you are under you attack. Are under attack. Soon. Oh boy. So first things first, the creature from the Black Lagoon is gonna move one space. Mm hmm So I mean, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. How oh, about there? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's the same. We'll just move um into the lagoon. One, two, three. It's all yeah. Let's move into the, the lagoon just so the camp is a little clearer. Okay. And now Dracula is gonna move one space. So it's one, two, three, four, or one, it, two, This three. is the only space it can move to. It must move here, that's right. Yeah. And now the frenzied monster, which is a wolf man, is going to attack you for two. Oh, no. Would you care to roll for your own fate? I need. <laughs> oh. I need to roll. <laughs> I need to roll some blanks here. I need to roll one attack and one blank. Well, actually, you don't, because on my turn, I can kill the wolf man. <laughs> you could. Yes, you could. I just, okay. You know, no, but you need, you need this right here. I know. Oh, so I you could take go it from one, me. two, three, take, oh. Take, well, you can take all items. Yes, right. that's true. We can share all items. One hit. Okay, so get rid of my, uh, my two, I guess. Yeah. Go and do the overkill, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do overkill anyway. You really hate the idea of the overkill. Right, here you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've been trying to be conservative with it. So this is done. Thank you. And now it's my turn. Go Everybody kill that thing. thing. Yeah. Wolfman is going bye bye. Kill him. So we're going one, two, three. Will you share you with share. me? Share. Yeah. So. Do you want to just? How many of your items do you want to give me? So definitely the cure. What's your What's the math on your on What do you have? I have two fives. Oh. We really just need a cumulative value of six. Uh, we're going to have a double overkill here. Okay. Uh, I'm just give you one? Take take my five, because I'll go down here and take the two. The two and the four. We'll just give me six. I'll just take the four. Okay. Okay. So huh. I, I sh we shared for one action. <laughs> you gave me the yeah. cure and the four. Kill this guy. And so with my last action, Get action number five, I am going to spend, it says, in the Wolfman's face, use the cure and six or more of these to defeat him. So, so I have a cure, and I have a cumulative value of nine of these red... Items. So I'm gonna turn them in now to defeat the Wolfman. Bye bye. Like that. Yay! So we're Good gonna put to Wolfman's uh, figure on his mat Let's to knock show. Him over. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so now Wolfman Gone. is out of the game. The frenzied marker moves to Dracula. Dracula. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. That's all my turns. We got one. One down, two to go. Okay. We need to desperately we smash some coffins. Smash some coffins. And get this thing moving. Okay, this ready? Is bad. With a monster yes. card? I am nervous. Three items. The Wolfman is nothing, so. All oh, right. that's going to be good. All right. Three. We got three items. We have one, uh, one blue at the Institute. That's the anatomy text. We have a two blue telescope at the mansion. Wait, a mansion. There you go. Thank you. And we have uh, another oh pistol. Oh my gosh, at the a precinct. pistol at the precinct. Somebody needs to get to the precinct like <laughs> now. Oh, okay. And then so we have a villager event. This is Maliva. Oh, she's in trouble. Here we go. Maliva is going to be placed at the camp. <laughs> She's surrounded. So, Maliva wants to go to the shop. Maliva's so. a goner. <laughs> she wants to get here. You have no faith in her. <laughs> She's a goner. So, she wants to go there. 
Um, okay, so monsters attack no longer have Wolfman. Fantastic. Good. So our frenzied monster is now Dracula. Dracula is going to move one space. Oh. She's a goner. I see what you mean. She is a goner. All right. Well, one hit is going to eliminate Maliva Duck. Poor Maliva. Get down. Oh, wow. What was that? Place the current player's hero in Dracula's space. Oh, me? All right. I guess it happens twice, so it just happens once. So. No, that's it. That's it, though. It doesn't get You don't have to get rid of anything. No, oh, I just that's... moved. Oh, my gosh. You are one shy of what you need over here. <laughs> well, you can, give... you can bring it to me. I'm so far away from you. Yeah, well. <laughs> At least we got Wolfman out. Oh, yeah. We are coming to the end here, though. Yeah, I'm getting a little nervous We're about turns here. Too. Mm. Woo! All right, so back to you. Uh, you have a fiver. Where this are you? Not... I'm thinking of going one, two, pick up three, four, and then being close to killing this thing right here. We can put you there. Oh, put me there, yeah. You can go one, two, put you there. And, or, you can even go one, two, pick those up, three, put you there, and then smash it for four. Okay. You want to do that? You know what? I think I would, oh, want, I would want these on my way back. So maybe I like the idea of going one, two, put, put me here three. Uh, sorry, put me here for free with that card. Mm -hmm. um, three is smash, and then four gets me to the Abbey closer to this. Yeah, but at that point, thing. you won't have any items. So if the creature comes... Oh, shoot. Yes, the creature. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just do whatever. So where, where do you want, what do you want to do? I'm here. So let's just go one, two... Three, you're gonna move me here for free, and then four, smash right here. Okay, okay. go for it. So, so one, one, two, pick up. For three. Shoot. Three, we're gonna use the taxi ride for free. Okay, to taxi move me ride. Here. So, um, I'm gonna smash it. With smash it. Five and, and the three. three. We Yay! We smashed the yes. coffin in the crypt here. Okay, one we're one coffin. coffin away, which you're right next to. It would be nice. I need, yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. so much stuff here in the precinct. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I'll do my best. I will do my best. Here we go. We need to get over Monster the climb. That blue lagoon is killing us here. Okay, this is good. So it's a three items. Okay, we are running low on items as well. Okay, three items, here we go. Okay, so this is the bear trap in at the, the shop. shop. Okay. The research tower, tower. I can never remember where anything is. Yeah, here we go, right tower. There. Lots of stuff. And then we have the laboratory experiment. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's uh, going there anymore. Fritz. Fritz Put is coming to join us at the tower. Wow. Oh, wow. We have everybody here. Where does he need to go? Fritz wants to go to the institute. Oh, that's, that's, which is kind, down of a, here. that's kind of a ways, Fritz. And Brenfield wants to go to the hospital. So. Wow. Let's I'd see. like to get One, them two, to where they three. need yeah. to go, but. I don't know if it's going to happen just yet. So Frankenstein's, neither of which are in the game. Good. And so our frenzied monster is Dracula. Dracula. Dracula will move one space. It's already there. Nope, no he won't. He's in my space. So we're going to roll two dice. And it's going to attack me. It's going to attack you. Okay. Okay, so I think we can afford this right here. Okay. So you are going to take that five, right? And, and and get rid of it to protect yourself? Yeah, I think I have to, Yeah. right? Unfortunately. Okay, so that's one. Okay, one. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right, so you're still alive. All right, I am still alive. So we are moving on to the, courier. the courier's turn. Okay. So I think it would be really nice if the courier were to pick up items and move over there. Yeah, and so try we to can get just that. get this thing done. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, so pick up one. Four actions. Let's see. One. Hmm. There's only blue. There's They're no all reds. Blues. Yeah. 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 The reds are killing us. It was nice with you having red there, but you lost it. I mean, he could. We could also have the courier go one, pick up for two, move over there, and just drop a red. Okay, let's do it. Want to do that? Yeah. So in that way, I'll have some protection against Dracula. Sure. So do we want to move the villagers this way also and just kind of tuck them away? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're going to just tuck one. these villagers. That's one. Pick up two. Pick up for two. Wow. And then now... The courier is going to travel over here for three. Special it's move three. Special move. And, and then, then spend the... The one red. The one red, right? Perfect, yeah. Spend the one red to get the creature so from the Black one, Lagoon. On the red spot. On the red spot. So the next yes. ideal is going to be yellow and then um, red and then blue. But yellow, we, red, we can just do whatever we got to do. Okay. Like that at that point. Just and then I can them. also... 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. That was all four actions? Correct. Okay. We need to do this. We only have a few more of we, these Yeah, we need to get left. these going. Two items. Well, all the items are on the board. So this is a, a two wine at the church. Okay. This is a four pitchfork at the barn. I'll leave it there. All right. Frankenstein event, not in play. Creature from the Black Lagoon mm. moves two spaces. One, two. Okay. He's joining the party. I think that the creature from the Black Lagoon should attack the courier. Yes. 100% the courier. All right. One day. Okay, would you like to you roll? Want me to roll it? Yeah. Nothing. Yes. yes. Something. It's in been our so favor. long. Yeah. Since okay. Seen that. Nothing. All right. Wolfman has been defeated, and Invisible Man is not in play. Get out. Okay. Bye bye. All right. So my turn. Let's let's get this creature out of here. Oh, we need a red and a, a blue. Red. There's just not enough. I, I think you so should. Here, I right? think you should bail to the precinct to get those double sixes. So. The question is now, do we do I want to pick up these or do I want to pick up these? Okay, so we still need a six plus to smash that last coffin. Mm -hmm. Those are two sixes right there. It'll give you another red that we can use to move along this track plus the six to, to damage this last coffin. We need a bunch of yellow once we damage the last coffin. And then we need one of each to actually kill the monster at the very end. So we could also just focus on the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, could. So I can pick all of these up and then on your turn, I, I'll end up here and on your turn you can move me twice. Bring me over there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so one, two, three. Pick all of these up for four. Okay. Wow, yeah. yes, finally. Wow, that was so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> this has been there for so long. Okay, it's four and then five. Okay. And that's it. Another monster card. No items. Place Dracula at the crypt. Oh, great. That's where I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And Dracula happens to be frenzied. Mm -hmm. So Invisible Man, uh, Frankenstein's frenzied monster. Two dice. So... Good luck. Good luck to me. I'm so sorry in advance. Oh, oh nice. Wow. That seemed so magical. I'll take it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Good. And it's my turn, so I'm getting the heck out of there. All right. Okay, where am so I going? It's your turn. Where should I go? You should move me in there. So, okay, I'm going to use my special action to move you. One, two. So that the courier can pick up all my stuff. I think I got to go three, four and just yeah, run. hide three, four and not pick up those two yellows, unfortunately. I mean, you could also just go there and yeah. pick them up, right? Three, four. Okay, here we go. I got them. Yep. So it was three to move in and four to four pick, to up, pick right? up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is for you. Oh, yeah, because I have that blue to protect me. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Ready? Yep. Okay, three items. Okay, there's items? only one item left. Bullet? Yeah, right? bullet. And put all those items back. Okay, so all the all items that have been. Actually, so because we defeated this Wolfman, these actually go back in the bag as okay, well. Okay, perfect. These go back in the bag. Sure, was there. That you're technically supposed to remove all of its components. Right. We can just tap it. Like, yeah, we'll just tap it. We'll just say it's uh, a dead gay. I don't know if you want to. Tap That's that fine. better. That looks pretty tough. <laughs> and this is supposed to go away too. Oh yeah, get rid of that. You no longer have Okay, to. so that so that thing came from the goes good goes to the docks, right? Okay, yes. And yes. Then these two, the shop. Hey, the shop's got a lot of good stuff. And the camp. Hey, yellow at the camp. Perfect. Okay. Okay. We have our village event. Mm -hmm. So we need Professor Pearson. At the cave. At the cave. Where does okay. he want to go? Uh the to museum. All the way to the museum? Yeah, he's not going to get there. <laughs> you have zero faith. No, I'm saying, like, we're not going to focus on it. We, we're we going to focus on killing the Yeah, monsters. We're, we're at the tail end You can here. make it to the museum when, when the city's safe. <laughs> so no no, uh, no mummy in play. So our frenzied... Oh, hello. He's going to go here. So I roll two die. Yeah. Oh, Dracula's frenzied, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, two Oh, hits. my gosh. Okay, well, one blue and one yellow. What do you say? Okay. One blue and this and one yellow. Okay. There you go. All right. That's okay. All right. Worst case scenario. Right. So courier. Okay, courier, do some some good. Courier can do a lot of great things here. What is the ideal color situation we have? Yellow, yellow, blue, which is no yellow, red. Well, we don't have red. So no, I can give it to you. Well, you can do yellow, red, blue. I mean. Or just yellow, yellow, blue, which they already have. And then what is it to defeat the actual? One it's of each. One of each. Okay. I think so, yellow, yellow, blue. 
I should give him the red. Or oh, you have I everything. Have four. You have everything needed to defeat him. So I can defeat him on my on turn. On your turn. So you said yellow, 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 blue. So yeah, yellow, yellow, blue. Okay. Yellow, yellow, and blue. Okay, so it's go. three actions. Yellow, yellow, blue. So now we are yellow, One, yellow, two, blue. Okay, three. so now we've unlocked the ability to to defeat this creature. So um, now that we're at the very end of the lair. We found his lair. With the boat. In the creature's space, use a yellow plus a red and a blue to defeat him. Monique, you have that. So on your turn, you'll you'll be able to do that. Now, do you want do you want that character to take do you want to take this character out of there? No. Because if the creature from the Black Lagoon attacks, I wouldn't want to be attacked. Oh, you'd rather attack the, the courier. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so just waste a turn then. No, he can he can spend or they they can spend one action to share. I can give them some of my items. What do you want to give? Um the yellow one. <laughs> well, my Just only... in case they get attacked. Okay, so yellow is needed for defeating Dracula. Mm hmm So... Or I don't have to share. I mean, it would... They have one more action. Can you... Okay, why don't you do this? Why don't you swap a four and a two and a four and a two? Like a four and a two to you. Or alternatively, we can have the courier use their last action to go to you and defend you. Okay, so for the last option, you-, you The last action? Last action, what you could do is either pick up this three. Okay. okay? Oh. Because eventually when we get to Dracula here and the, the last uh, coffin smash, we need six plus to defeat it in True. yellow. Um, so as of right now, the courier has eight and you have four. Mm -hmm. You guys could take a chance and do a swap. Like you'll give a two to that person and, they'll, and then and then a four to you. Let's just have them pick this one up. Or just pick that up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So the courier gets this for their last action. Mm -hmm. That's it. Ready? That's it. Oh, we didn't put this back. Oh, yeah. That's got to go from a while ago. So this is the new one. Okay. Right? Because we're done? Okay. Ooh, we're cutting it close. Three items. Okay. Here are three items. Three items. So, oops. So this is the uh, mansion. We have another mansion. That's and good. we have the camp, oh, so we have another blue up there. Okay. And then the Wilbur and Wilbur and Chick. Uh, hmm, where are they? Here we go. They're going to the shop. What did they start? They're starting at the shop. Sorry. Okay. And they would like to go to the dungeon. Um. Also, probably not going to happen, Wilbur. Probably not. Okay. And so monster attacks are the Frankenstein's, and then the frenzied monster. Me. So now he's I attacking you for three. Three dice. I only have one item. Good luck. So I'm probably going to die here, so that's okay. <laughs> He's going to be defeated. Yep. Yep, okay. that's it. So I might as well just be defeated and not give up. A, yeah, not give up and that. And not give up my item. So I'm off the board. This moves off over here. And I'm going to start in the hospital right over here at the beginning of my turn. At the beginning of your next turn. All right. And that is it for that's okay. that one. Look at this whole deck of monster cards. There oh, my go. gosh. All right. So now on to me. I'm going to defeat, defeat the creature. Defeat that dude. So it's one yellow, one blue. So it's a yellow... Here's my one blue and my one red. All, right, all three. So the, for Let's one action, turning Let's them in. All three of these. And ah. Ah. Okay, the so creature this guy is done. Defeated. Defeated. So, so we'll tap that. Side tap. Yay. So now we just have Dracula just left. Just Dracula. We need to get, so blue is nothing to us now. Where do these villagers want to go? The shop and the museum. How many more turns do you have? Those are just one. I have one. four. I have yeah. four more actions. The Where's... shop is here. Museum is here. One, two, three, four. Who wants to go? No, but the museum is this person. Oh, that requires another. What about the shop? Here? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I could bring... And then that way I'm here. Yeah. So pick up all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to bring the villager, which is Maliva. Maliva survived. She made it. I told you. She ducked. <laughs> she ducked. I'm going to bring Maliva to... The shop. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Take these Yay. Ideas off the board. So Maliva has made it to her destination and I get a a perk. We it's been so long since we've had one of these. Mm. This is the break of dawn. It says skip the next monster oh, phase. Love it. Draw and place two items from the item yes. bag. Okay. Uh that is the end of my turn. Do we want to skip the next monster phase or save it? What's uh who's the next? It's me. It's gonna be you. Starting at the hospital. Mm-hmm. I mean, it seems pretty safe, right? 
Yeah, it seems pretty safe. Because would, we only yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would not skip it. Okay, now. let's 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 keep it. So two items. Okay. So this is a uh, wolf. It's a Wolfman event, and so Wolfman so has been eliminated. Graveyard. Graveyard and, and the lab. Okay. Lab. So no event happens. Creature from Black Lagoon is gone. Dracula moves one space. He's also frenzied, so he moves another space towards weight. Hold on, this is one, two, and that's one, two. So it's up to me to decide ah, who yeah. this Dracula moves closer to. Let's move him this way because okay. the courier can always teleport this way. I agree. So one space in that direction. And that's it for that. So now back to you. We need to okay, so destroy I that the crypt. Hospital. Now I have nothing here. The way to destroy the crypt is with red. My special ability is to, I can move other heroes. I'm thinking of moving the courier to this location here. One, two, three, and then I can move, you know, four. That way uh, the courier has access to the red to go back on his turn to destroy it. Do you, how about this? How about I'm, I'm gonna be the one to defeat him in the end. I can go one, two, three, pick up, and then somebody else do the reds. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do on my turn, and, and tell me if you, if you agree. Okay. Wilbur needs to get to the dungeon. I have four action points. And, and check. And check. Oh, sorry. And check. sorry. <laughs> needs to get to the dungeon. Okay. Uh, I have four action points, and my special abilities, I can move any hero or villager one space, and I can use that up to four times. So I can go one, two, three, four, get them to where they need to go, and then we get one of those benefit cards, which probably will, will maybe buy us some time. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, because I'm not doing anything else over here. So okay. let's do it. Okay, so one, two, three, four. They're at the dungeon. Yes. Success. Success. Here we go. Okay. This is yours. What do we got? Late into the night. Oh, the current player takes two additional actions. <gasps> okay, so I can... Ooh, that's perfect for you. Because you can pick up and then get out over there and destroy. Oh, yes. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it, right? Yeah. Are we going to use this now to skip the monster phase? Yeah, maybe. Or... Maybe. Okay, let's do it. Break up okay. dawn. Skip the monster phase. Draw and place two items from the item Perfect. bag. Perfect. Yeah, that buys us an extra round also because then we're not going through the monster deck. Whew. Okay. So these two. No, they get the barn. Man. Okay. The barn was a nice spot to go. So fire mansion. poker. Mansion. And then the barn. Yeah, all the way up there. All right. So now we're full of reds. Yes. <laughs> Plenty of red. Okay. So now it's the courier's turn since we skipped the monster phase. What should the courier do? The courier can... We can move the courier straight to you and uh, give you all of their items. Okay. Or at least so that I, so on my turn I can I can kill it. You can try to kill. Yeah. Dracula. Okay. You I like that? that. Yeah, I like that. So then it's gonna be one. So huh? can you jetpack with with the villager no. connected to it? Okay. Mm -mm. So one. Mm -hmm. uh, how many of these would you like? Why don't you pick this up also? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So let's do that again. So, so one. One. Two. Two. How many? What would you like? Give me all their yellow, just in case I get an attack. Okay. Three shared with Naveen. Three. Uh, there's one more. One more action. Do you want them to jetpack to you? Sure. So you can take their stuff? Or... Four. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So now we must do the monster phase. Right. Wow. We have, we are so, we are cutting it so close. Yeah. Three items. Okay. Maria at the barn. Oh no. What? Problem, Maria? No, um. Maria? Oh, lab, yeah. Lab, precinct, and camp. So, camp. So, lab, precinct. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, so, Maria She's is the last going one. to go to the barn. Have we seen all the villagers? We have. This yeah. is amazing. Uh, and Maria wants to go to the camp, which is over there. Yeah, so, Maria. Um, Frankenstein's and our frenzied monsters can move one space. Unfortunately, Dracula will move one space closer right. to that villager, right. but nothing gets rolled. So we have about three turns. Turns, technically four, because it's if you need to go pull a card, mm -hmm. and oh yeah, you that's can't right. That's right. Lose. That's so right. let's hope that we defeat. Okay, so I have the current player takes two additional actions. Can you? So I'm gonna pick up for one. One. We're gonna go two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Let's spend that late into the night perk to take two additional actions. To go six, six and, and break that coffin seven for with seven the six. Yeah, with, with, just, with the six. just the six. Oh. There you go. Yay. Okay, so that's that. So this coffin is now smashed. And now I'm protecting the villager. Exactly, exactly. So now we can go ahead and defeat 
Dracula. Dracula. I am so far from Dracula. <laughs> we. I'm so far from oh, Dracula. Oh, you need to give. Oh, yeah. We shouldn't have given you all the yellows. I know. It's okay. Okay, on your turn then, you can give the courier your items. Because the courier will have mm -hmm. to do it. So yep. let's see. Zero items. We no longer have the creature from the Black Lagoon. Wolfman's gone. Frankenstein's not in the game. And then oh my gosh. Dracula moves. So to he me. moves that much further. Oh, but that's good though, because mm -hmm. yeah, they the can teleport to you. Okay. Right. Okay. So three dice. They're right here. Where oh. <laughs> so Thank you. just survive as much as you can. I'm try. Okay. okay. So one hit. What's the place the current player's hero in Dracula's space? And that is me. That's you, so right. that's what happens with that. One hit. And one hit. So let's uh, get rid of a, a red. The red. The too. yellows are the most valuable now. Okay, so we are coming down to it, Naveen. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then hand off everything, right? Everything? To the warrior. Yep. Yeah. That's four, right? That's four, yeah. All right. We have no perks. We have no perks. This is down to the wire. Wow. No items. Okay. Creature from the Black Lagoon, not in play. Wolfman, not in play. So it's a frenzied. Oh my gosh. He's gonna try to hit You need me to for survive. Three. You need to not roll three, three hits. You. <laughs> You cannot roll three hits. Well, uh, good thing you're rolling. Oh, yeah. I cannot roll three hits. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, okay. No go. hits. No hits. Okay. okay. And one exclamation mark. So the current player, which is you, yes. moves to I get sucked over the spot. There. Okay. I think okay. we are just going to make it. Oh, my God. So <laughs> we are just going to make it. There. Okay. Thank you. So, so it's Courier's, courier's turn. turn. Courier yes. moves. Get over there, Courier, now. Over to the spot. And defeats Dracula with... With six. Let's yellow. overkill this time. Just overkill. We're going to overkill. Give it, give it all. So we have four, seven, eleven, fourteen. Fourteen. We hit you with fourteen, Dracula. Kind of hard. Stake right and through the heart. And that's it. Oh. We finished with one <laughs> With one turn to go? Left. Oh. Wow. I'm exhausted. Yeah, that was like <laughs> putting out some fire. And that was the standard game, by the yeah. way. Wow, that was crazy. Good job. Yeah, good job. Good job. <laughs> good job, you yeah. two. So that was it. We just finished our two player, three player, technically, two and a half, two, and a half, two plus player playthrough of Horrified. Well, <laughs> and I it was horrifying. horrifying. Wow, that I'm... was tough. That was a grind to that get was, to that work. That was quite a grind. We had literally one turn. To so it's go. interesting because usually, or I feel like usually people will lose because that, the, Death the death marker cover, goes yeah. all the way to the end, but mm. this time we were cutting it close. Running to out the clock, yeah. The clock. I mean, we needed those cards that extended the game where you didn't have to do a monster to draw card. Month, yeah. We used two of them, and there was only one left. We did a pretty good job with our villagers. I don't. Yeah, think we got we them around. Lost any, or maybe uh, one. Was one was. One? Yeah, covering? one because we had one friends. Yeah, I don't remember. Actually, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's do that. So. So there's a lot to talk about in this game. What did you think about theme? I think the theme is cool in this game. This um, theme is awesome. It oh makes my gosh. the most sense. Like it, all the the characters they they act in a certain way relative to their characters in the movies and stuff. So like Dracula is is charming them towards you or toward towards Dracula. Uh, the Blue Lagoon monster, or sorry, the Black Lagoon monster is mo <laughs> is moving around the board on the water. That we didn't see the the. That monster move around too much though on the no, water, but in some but games it, it can you know it can. pop up in areas, and then um, I mean it's cool because usually yeah. usually games with like an IP mm -hmm. it's just one right it's yeah. like one character it's cool to see them all interact but, together yeah, yeah this is like the Universal Studios monsters so you have six monsters from six different classic movies and they all play differently some of them are harder than others. It's really cool. Yeah. It's a really, really cool thing. I think it's cool how, like, how simple some of this stuff is. But yeah. It's so well integrated. Like, uh, for the Wolfman, you got to find the cure. So you got to go to the lab specifically. Yeah, it's so And thematic. get all the scientific stuff and put them together. And then you can go out there and, yeah. and, and, and use an attack. It's really track. cool. Yeah. Like, And there are people out there who are big, like, uh, classic movie buffs. Like, mm -hmm. we are we are not those people. And we yeah. still really, really, really love the theme. So yeah. Not to mention the production value is so good in this game yeah, it is really good. all the components are so high quality the board is beautiful and mm -hmm. robinsberger has been doing this kind of like 
uh, when you open the box, there's like a little like surprise thing on the back of the board. Yeah. I'm not going to show you what it looks like just yeah, in case we'll you want to be surprised, yeah. but that's also there. Mm -hmm. All of the villagers are like specific to the movies. It's just really, really good, good stuff, good yeah. production value. So this is a co-op game, right? So mm -hmm. player count, um, it plays one to five. So like technically I as a one person can play as five characters and do exactly what we just did. Right. It's one of those co-ops. It's kind of like similar to like Pandemic, right? Pandemic yeah, is the one that everybody the knows yep. where it doesn't really matter. You're you're controlling everything together. Right. There's nothing. There's no hidden information. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I will say that higher at higher player counts, it's harder. <laughs> it's much harder. We a lot played... more opinions coming in. No, no, no. It's not that. Oh, it's okay. not the players. It's the amount of uh, p amount of heroes that you have on the board. The the risk of getting attacked by a monster is higher. Oh yeah, because they're everywhere. They're everywhere, yeah. so the monsters get drawn to the heroes much more often. Right, right. And if you're the character, like if you're in a five-player game, if you're the character that has all the yellows and it's like, we need it to be your turn, yeah, then you're it's waiting. like, you're waiting, waiting, and monsters are coming, things are right. moving, the board has changed, so, villagers have come out. Higher player count is harder. Yeah, so that's uh, why we like to play, we wanted to play this one at three, right in the smack dab in the middle. Yeah, because at two, yeah. I feel like, you could just hide, like Naveen and I could just hide in opposite corners of the board and, and the have the monsters board, chase board. us. So mm -hmm. we wanted to show, and honestly, we really do like playing these kinds of co-ops with that third dummy player. Yeah, definitely. I think it's good at all. It's good yeah, at all. Yeah. Like if you, even if it is harder and you have higher, a higher player count, use less monsters, right? You can mm -hmm. control the difficulty of this game, right. which is really cool. And yeah, it tells two, you- three or four monsters, yeah, right? Yeah. It tells you in the rule book. So when you start, the first time you play this game, you want to start with two monsters. And then the standard game is three, but you can choose which three. Yeah. Um, it tells you which the what the complexity ratings of each of the monsters are, so you can literally decide. I want to go really hard and just use the Frankenstein. Yeah. I think we did medium, medium, easy. Medium, that's, medium, that's low. Medium, it's medium, not medium, easy. Low, it's just low, like sorry. low complexity. Who was low? Dracula. Dracula. Because all you have to do is go around, smash the coffins. There's like they're in the corners though, man. It's just like it's not uh, level of difficulty. It's level of complexity. Complexity. Because okay. like the blue, the black lagoon. Oh, you got me saying blue. blue. The Black Lagoon, you have to figure out like which colors, you have to get those colors to, it's a little bit more complicated. Yeah, I, I, man, I really like that. I guess that's part of the mechanisms of the game. Yeah, yeah. there's one that, there's the mummy that's like way more complicated where you have to like move there's puzzles. little scarabs yeah, around, yeah, it's a, yeah. very puzzly. So uh, replayability wise is like we mentioned, all of those aspects, it's totally there. You can mix and match whichever monsters you want to play. And which, the way the items come out. And which heroes you want to heroes, use. Because yeah. all the heroes have different um, special actions. Yeah, we so, only showcase three of them, but there, I think there's seven total heroes, maybe eight total heroes. So yeah. that, those are the people that have different um, different special actions mm -hmm. um, and action points. Yeah. So some of them only have three action points, but they're pretty strong. The mayor had five action points, but that's all they get to do. So Yeah, so there's lots, lots of replayability yeah. for sure. And then what about the mechanism? I it's, really like this game. This game yeah. yeah, this game is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like cooperative games and you're a, a sucker for theme, this game is so is really yeah. fun. I mean, this has a fun factor. It's That's, just straight fun. Yeah. We, I don't think we've spoken about fun factor in a while, and this mm -hmm. game has it's it. it. It's yeah. very rich, right? It's like just like a fun game It is game very experience. enjoyable from the beginning all the way to the end. Um, it's exciting. The mechanisms are very simple. It's just like, it's just like, and I hate to keep comparing it to Pandemic, but it's, it's similar in that sense where on your turn, there are only a few actions that you can do. So you're going around, you're putting out fires, you're picking yeah. up items, you're trying to solve, you know, you're trying to problem solve. progress, you're problem you're solving. Problem solving the whole time, yeah. The whole time. And um, the monster mats are like really what make it just so cool because yeah. that's what where the complexity comes in. That's where the mechanisms change when it comes to the monster mats. Yeah, it's like the I actual... need to go around the board and collect all these things, but how do I yeah. now take all those things, pass them around each other, so that we can efficiently defeat that monster or, or set that monster up for defeat. It's right. actually a very interesting thing. Yeah. And then you have to go defeat it. Yeah, it's the specific yeah. mechanisms that are related to the monster. So for Dracula, you need to go smash coffins. <laughs> yeah. For the Black Lagoon, you need to like move the parts around. For the Frankenstein one, we haven't played with, mm -hmm. but that's even harder. You have to get the two Frankenstein couple to meet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Invisible I Man. Yep. Yeah. It's it's really really cool, and I think that's where it really shines in mm -hmm. the different uh, monster mats. Yep. Depending on the group, the game might play a little bit long, just like other cooperative games. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because there's a lot of discussion. Like, like yeah, on your turn, it's like spend your four four points or five points, but mm -hmm. and yeah, there's also of... luck, right? Like this isn't uh, this isn't something that you can control yeah. all aspects. The dice of. rolling is there, yeah. The dice rolling is there, and then like there are just some turns where it's like we played a game where like we drew a monster card that had us put a villager, 
And then the monster attack attacked the villager. Yeah, the, the one villager that you died. just put out there. <laughs> the villager like, died oh, and like a tracker that. went up. So yeah. yeah, you can't control everything. But I mean, it's just a fun experience. Yeah. And that's like, what more can you ask for in a game? And it can you can literally play it with anybody. It's yeah. not too complicated. Totally. It doesn't have to be for gamers only. You can break it out with the family who would enjoy this kind of theme. So I really think, I don't know if you agree, but I really think that Ravensburger hit it out of the park for this one. Yeah, definitely. So thank you guys very much for watching our playthrough of Horrified. We hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? I did. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more of our content, please consider subscribing. Bye.